Adam Skeletor from the E-Man and Masters of the Universe movie and I've decided to do a little blog to show you what I've been up to these days now some people feel a bit daunted by me because I used to be such an evil bloke in the 80s but I've changed I swear and because I'm technically a skeleton some people call me Tony because of the T-O-N at the end of skeleton skeleton T-O-N so it's up to you you know whatever makes you feel comfortable you know now what have I been doing since the E-Man movie it was 1987 after all well truth be told I've not done a lot I don't know if you remember the film where Dolph Lundgren who played E-Man pushed me down that massive big well thing and you were left wondering if I'd died well I didn't die I popped up at the end credits laughing Ming style out of Flash Gordon because I survived the fall so you were left wondering would there be a sequel well you know what happened there because it wasn't a sequel well the money dried up pretty quick I can tell you I didn't even get royalties from the cartoon franchise because no bugger was showing it anymore things turned pretty grim for a while even my best mates Beastman, Evil Lynn, Karg they all dropped me like a stone because I didn't have the power anymore I didn't command the respect I once had well you know the drill I lost my mansion in Florida Keys I moved to Salford Keys got a flat little job at Morrison's tried to keep my school down you know things were alright for a while until one day the boss caught me smoking a fat one in the yard and that was it I was down the road I quickly fell behind on my rent as I ploughed what little money I had left on drinking drug spenders trying to block out how low it sunk suffice it to say I was evicted from my nice little flat yeah, I, I resorted to robbing booze and food from supermarkets and for a while I dosed at man at arms house until he got sick of my lifestyle as well then it was back to the streets homeless, jobless, penniless the cold rain lashed against where my eyes used to be oh, I was broken that was the moment everything changed I sat there in PDSA charity shop's doorway I had a light bulb moment an epiphany if you like I had to change and change fast I was a bag of bones in a cloak and a storm had washed over me like a dew drop from a lotus leaf well I pulled my cardboard boxes over me and thought for tonight I'm just going to try and sleep the next morning Gladys from PDSA made me a cup of tea and kindly some buttered toast I ate and drank and I thanked her for taking pity on a dead skeleton well that was it, I never looked back I signed on, I worked afternoons at the charity shop I got clean and I felt my bones begin to warm I wanted to live I turned my attention to poetry well I read a few books in the shop and I fancied a crack myself so I started writing down my thoughts and emotions I went to open mic night at the pub and I'd read them aloud and I found the audience liked it and I only drank orange juice too now I've got a book deal on the horizon and a DVD out so if it's alright with you I'd like to share with you one of my best poems to date if you just give us a minute right this poem's um, by me Skeletor and it's called I Have The Power um, and it's about the fall and rise after the, the E-Man Masters of the Universe debacle so I hope you'll uh, hope you enjoy it in 1987 life truly began when I made a sworn enemy of a bare-chested man it was good against evil and skin against bones it was blur the oasis it was beetles and stones we battled in space for the right to return here I fought so damn hard that it brought on me hernia I wanted the power and to take He-Man's sword I wanted respect I was God I was Lord I recruited an army I recruited a clan Evelyn, Blade, Karg and Beastman Sauron rocked up but he wasn't much cop so he ended his life, it's just tough at the top I surveyed Castle Grayskull where the sorceress dwelled an old glorified pigeon and decrepit old cell me hostage, me prisoner the sorceress became when it came to the bedroom you can tell she was game while E-Man and Battlecat bought a force of their own Man at Arms, Teela and Gwildor the Gnome and Kevin and Julie from the US of A found the key to the universe and came out to play it was Monica from Friends in an earlier role as Kevin's stricken girlfriend they prayed for her soul co-finder of the key and I needed to stop her but I didn't have a chance with that gun-tooting copper we went through a time loop right back up into space 
and that is where the final battle took place. It wasn't about Eternia anymore. It wasn't about me respecting the law. Only E-Man alone now could stand in my way. I felt in my skull it was Skeletor's day. We battled for hours, he have sword me of staff. It's hard to believe now, together we laugh. He-Man dealt the winning blow, I receded in shame. Powerless, weak, a broken skeleton, lame. It was then that I quit film work, became a recluse. I sank into drugs and I drowned in the booze. What was once my quest for Greyskull faded into speed and Red Bull. Evelyn, Karg and Beastman see me no more. They laugh at me downfall, they laughed I was poor. It was pity from a good man, took me in, man at arms. And I caught sneaky glances at both Teela's charms. But my lifestyle got to him, it was back to the street. Living in cardboard, it smelled of defeat. But a storm fell that night and it pricks at me. So <laughs> I could be a good man, I could become old. So I went down the dole office, got myself clean, did voluntary work, I became a machine, a studious skeleton, well read and well versed, I ploughed into poetry, lifted the curse, not poetry, not poverty. So now I am thankful for each precious hour. I skeleton bow to you. I have the power.